Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, I was going to do a video today about starting the, uh, the peonies uh, paint by number, but oh my goodness, it was a, it was a disaster. But the, the paint was so thin that I could see, even with two or three coats um, in each section, I could still see the numbers coming through. Um, the paint was really shiny and it wasn't nice. It didn't have a good look. The paint wouldn't actually stay on the canvas. It kind of smeared around. And I worked out quite quickly that the image that was printed on the canvas, the lines that were printed there for me to paint, was nothing like the image that actually came on the photo or the description of the of the kit. It, that the photo that came with it, I was totally an artist representation with lots of tiny detail and lots of shading. Uh, and the, the the flowers that I was painting, the peonies that I was painting on the canvas, were just had big blob sections of flat colour with no detail in it. I only get a few hours a week to do my crafting, so I wasn't going to spend those precious hours on something that I was hating. So I cut my losses and I hopped on one of the Paint My Number um, Facebook groups that I'm in and it seemed like all the ones that I was loving and that people were giving really good reviews about were um, by, by Dimensions, which is uh, an American company. So I hopped online and I thought, oh, we're in Australia, we're never going to be able to find those at a good price. And I did, I'm really happy. So I, I hopped on and I ordered this one. So this is Sweet Little Birds, that is the finished image there, and that is the box. So I bought, I bought this, I bought this from uh, Catch of the Day, which is like an Australian website where they have, you know, sale items and you can kind of pick up just about anything there uh, but I think if you're in the UK or in, a, in the US uh, you could get this really quite for a great price on Amazon uh, I'll put the links of where I bought it from uh, and Amazon links as well uh, in the description if anybody's interested in painting along with me I'm hoping that because it's a dimensions kit that the quality is going to be a bit better than than the peonies that I started from AliExpress where the paint was just the quality just wasn't great and, and it was a bit disappointing. It made it not quite so fun. So I'm hoping that um, by doing a better quality kit uh, as my first one, that now, well, it's kind of like my, not quite my first one, but my first one is um, out in the recycling, uh, that this is going to be uh, a bit better. So let's see, hey? Okay, let's open this beauty. It's so cute. I really love it. What have we got? Ah, okay. So it's on uh, something totally different from what the last one was. Let's have a look at the actual board. There we go. Oh gosh. The numbers are really clear. Really easy to read. Hello little birdie. I can't wait to paint you in. And it's not on canvas. It's um, it, it's actually uh, like a like a thick cardboard. Okay, there's the brush on the back. Looks lovely. And these are the paints. Nice little interlocked kind of uh, gadget there. And there we go. The colours look lovely. Don't they look nice? I'm really, I'm really excited about this one now. Okay, and quite a, quite a lengthy description. Now, because I had some issues with the last one, I actually went off. One of the recommendations in one of the paint by number groups I'm in is to always prime your canvases that you paint on with gesso. So this is the one that I got. It is just, uh, there's two different types of gesso. It can either come uh, the regular one or like a clear. Uh, so this is uh, one I bought called uh, translucent gesso. So uh, with extra tooth. So, uh, uh, this is like a uh, an undercoater or a primer that a lot of artists will use to prime canvases prior to painting. And look, to be honest, I probably don't need to because this is cardboard. It's got a very matte 
surface. It's not shiny or slippery. But just because I had issues last time and I want it to be really nice and smooth and have a great paint finish, I'm gonna use this anyway. So while my board is drying, I am going to go and make a coffee. Okay, so now one thing that's a little bit different uh, with this kit compared to uh, the other one I started is that it it comes with the uh, the twelve colours which are in the pots and. Then there are another uh, 17 colors here that you need to mix for this. Some people aren't a fan of this. They don't, they will actually avoid kits that, um, that you have to mix. But that actually doesn't bother me. I'm actually really happy that you get a whole lot of colors. Uh, mixing colors will actually give you a more blended, softer look uh, and, and a more colorful finish. So my plan is I have these empty paint pots from the other one, from my last one that I started, um, that I didn't finish. And I am going to use these to mix the colors in. So wherever on my board there is an area of gray, gray is an equal measure of number paint color one plus paint color three to get gray. So paint color one is white, paint color three is the dark crimson. I'm just giving that a little stir first with my toothpick and it seems like it's really quite, um, quite thin. Yeah, that's not thick at all. That's really nice. One. scoops or four brushfuls. Let's wash my brush out. So now I want to mix that with how many did I use? Four. One. So the next color to mix is C, and it is an even mix of number one plus number four. I have got my colors that uh, came with the pot, and I have got my colors that I have mixed in my little old tubs from my last kit. So where to start? Where to start? I've been watching this YouTube channel called The Painty Cat and she is uh, an artist who does a lot of paint by number work and she you know uses them as a base and then does a lot of her own blending and adapting over the top and they look amazing and her tip is to always start with backgrounds as much as i would love to jump in and do one of these little birds or this fence i'm going to start with the background i'm going to do it in a similar way to the way i do my diamond paintings where i go section by section i'm not going to do pick one color at the beginning and work in little tiny pieces all over i want to do it section by section so i can kind of get a feel for uh a feel for the object that i'm working on because i might want to make some little changes with blending some colors together with wet edges and you can't really do that if you're working one tiny dot at a time in all over the place. Oh gosh, straight away I can feel the difference between this kit and the, the last disaster kit that I had. It is, the paint is smooth, 
it's going on really easily but look at that it's got really good coverage that's really that feels that feels really nice looking at it and it's just a whole bunch of lines and numbers it's a bit hard to tell what is what so I can tell what's the background and what isn't because I'm just looking back at the reference picture on the cover of the box so I'm not going to get rid of that box just yet I'm going to keep it until my picture is totally finished just so I know what's what these paints feel lovely the paint quality feels really nice it's going on really smoothly. There is a world of difference between this one and the cheap dodgy one that I bought last time. So now you'll see that the majority of lines are solid lines. And then here we've got a dotted line. So this is an area where they say it's great if you can blend the two areas together. So I've kind of just stopped roughly at this dotted line here where it changes to this color. And I'm gonna try and, you know, to keep a little bit of a wet edge and just smudge those two colors together. That's my plan. I'm getting a bit of the first one and a bit of the second one. I haven't washed my brush in between at all and I am just going to push that paint back and forwards. Voila, and we've got a lovely blend. So I'm not washing my brush in between these two colors. I'm happy for a little bit of color transfer because I'm going to blend them together, keeping that wet edge. the first colour here. So for me, it doesn't matter to me at all now if I lose the exact location of that blending line. I'm going to use that line as just a guide and I know now that where those two colours are blending, it doesn't matter to me at all. It's not exactly on that line. I think I will probably buy more kits off AliExpress in the future. Not right now because I feel like I need to get a, a little bit of experience. Um, I just want to have a little bit more of a clue about what to expect and how to do them. So I'm going to stick with these dimensions ones just for a little while. But I think I will, when I, when I feel a little bit more confident uh, holding the brush and painting, I probably will go back and order from AliExpress again, just because the range is just so great with what they've got. But I will be a lot more careful with what I order. I will have a really good look at the image that's provided and if it is photographic in quality and is clearly not a picture of a paint by number then I, I won't get it I'm only going to buy kits there from from there now that I can see that the image that um, that they've that they're advertising is actually a paint by number image not uh, a really you know fancy artists representation of it or it's not you know just a photograph yeah you know photographic in quality this feels so fun. Oh, I'm just having a ball doing this. So I'm really happy. I'll put that first one down to a learning experience and I'm not gonna worry.
I, I am so happy with this. This is just so much fun. I am loving it. Uh, I'm working hard on my background. I think my little, my blurred in areas are looking really pretty. I've got a few more little details to do of the background and then the background is done. Okay, the background is all finished. It's all done. Uh, I am, I, I'm really happy. I love it. It just feels so good to have a paintbrush in your hand again doing this. I haven't done anything like this for a long, long, long time and I'm loving it. So I'm going to call it a day for today for this video. The background is finished and the next time I am going to pick it up again and start on the birds and the foreground. So uh, let me know what you think guys if you like this design or not. If anybody has done it and completed this one from, uh, from paintwork or dimensions, um, Write a, write a message in the comments. I would love to hear if anybody else has done it and what they thought of it. And if you've got any other um, designs by Dimensions that you really love, uh, let me know that as well. Maybe I need something from them to do next. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends.